Hello. Today we will be understanding the fun screen of the Trade Smart desktop application and how you can transfer funds to and from your Trade Smart trading account using the desktop application. Let's start with the process of transferring funds to your trading account using the desktop application. This process is also called funds pay in. To transfer funds to your Trade Smart trading account, click on the menu bar and click on web links. Under this, you will be able to see a tab for pay in. Click on this and you will be redirected to the box web page. Under this, select the segment that you want to transfer the funds to. This can be equity. Equity funds can be used in cash, FNO or currency segments. If you select commodity, this can be used only in the commodity segment. Select the bank that is linked with your trading account. By default, this will be selected. Funds can be added to your trading account only through the bank that is linked with your trading account. If the bank is not linked, please make sure to add that bank to your trading account and then transfer the funds. Bank addition can also be done through box back office login. Enter the desired amount that you wish to transfer. For today's tutorial, I will be transferring 100 rupees. There are three modes of fund transfer. UPI, Net Banking, and NEFT. For UPI, the minimum amount is 100 rupees and the maximum is 1 lakh. For transferring funds using the UPI mode of payment, select UPI and click on Pay In. This will take you to the payment page. Here, you can add in your UPI ID. Any UPI supported payment app such as GPay, PhonePay, Paytm, Theme, etc. can be used. Please make sure that the UPI ID that you are entering is of the same bank which is linked with the trading account. You can click on Remember UPI to save the UPI ID for any other future transaction. Click on Continue and this will complete your transaction. Once the UPI ID is entered, you will then need to open your UPI app of which you have entered the UPI ID from to complete the transaction by entering your UPI PIN. As you can see, the payment is done. The next method using which you can perform the funds pay-in is net banking. The minimum amount for performing net banking is 100 rupees and the maximum is 25 lakh. There is also a charge of rupees 8 plus 18% GST per transaction. Today I am going to transfer 100 rupees using net banking. You can select the net banking option in bank method and click pay in. As you can see, the bank account that is linked with your trading account will automatically be selected. You can click on continue and it will redirect you to your net banking page asking you to enter your user ID and password. There is another method using which you can add funds which is NEFT. To transfer funds through NEFT, RTGS or IMPS, you can click on this option to get the details of the same. Using these details, you can add the Trade Smart account as a beneficiary to your bank account and then transfer the funds. Now, let's understand funds payout or transferring funds from your Trade Smart trading account to your bank account. To take a payout of the funds from your trading account to your bank account, click on the top menu section and click on payout. It will redirect you to the box back office web page. 
in the payout section you will be able to see two different sections one for equity and one for commodity account balance shows the funds available for trading which may include any unsettled funds withdrawable balance shows the funds that are available for withdrawal this includes the settled funds only you can refer to the i to know more about the same please refer to the notes section at the bottom to know more details on the payout schedule payout will be processed only to the primary or the default bank if you have linked two or more bank accounts then the same will be processed only in your primary account to check the balance of your trading account click in the top menu section click trading and click on view limits you can also use a shortcut key central plus shift plus v and this tab will open in your home screen few columns such as cash margin used available margin premium and more will be shown let's go through it one by one cash refers to the opening balance of the day margin used is the amount that has been blocked in your open positions and trades available margin are the funds that are currently available for trading premium i is any open option positions squared off during the trading day this will be updated in the premium column which can be used for further trading only in the option segment collateral if you have pledged any shares the collateral value of these shares will be visible here this can be used for trading in the equity intraday future buy and sell and option short selling only peak margin this refers to the highest margin charged by the exchange on the day that you have done intraday trading pay in if there are any funds pay in done during the trading day it will be reflected here pay out any payout made during the day will be updated here and the same will be blocked for the further trading on the same day uncleared cash this refers to any funds that are unsettled and cannot be used for trading on the same day for more details of the fund screen you can refer to our faq article or contact our support team hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching